M24 construction hasn't hit hard yet, but Apothecary and Co. says they're prepared if it does. We're fortunate enough right now that it's down, you know, further south, but it's creeping north as far as construction goes. Um, I think we'll see it. Yeah, I think later this summer. But the good thing is about the pandemic, it's kind of opened our eyes to, to get different um, avenues out there to, to avoid, I don't know, people not wanting to, if they don't want to come to the store, at least we can ship to their house. If or they want to do curbside. car side or curbside, um, delivery is an option. We really haven't done too much of that, but of course that's always an option. Um, around the village. They say with the pandemic still in place with no definite and as construction along M24 worsens, it may cause a problem, but they're hoping for the best. We've seen a decrease, especially with the pandemic, but it's kind of hitting us as a double whammy. Um, but I am hoping people realize for us specifically that we have access behind the building, um, both off Pontiac and then um, Burdick. But yeah, I'm hoping that doesn't deter people, but we are very happy to do um, shipping too. They say both shipping and curbside pickup will continue even after the pandemic ends. I don't see it going away for a long time. It's whatever people are comfortable with and whatever makes their life easier. At this point, we're willing to, you know, help people out with whatever we can do. And they're also adding more products to their clearance racks. We have a couple awesome clearance racks. We have a 50% off rack and we have a 25% off rack. And those are awesome because they're um, professional lines of vitamins and supplements that maybe are going to be close dated in the future and a few other products in there. And we are also running a special with any purchase over the uh, $50. We are doing a free CBD product with that. And we'll be rolling out all sorts of other stuff too throughout the summer. If construction hits you guys hard, are you going to switch hours at all? We're going to have to roll with it. We can't say that we're not going to. I mean, if it's going to make sense for us to stay open later to accommodate folks, then we're definitely open to doing that. If that's something, yeah, we would look into that for sure. Hours right now are different than normal. We have changed a little bit over the course of the whole COVID um, thing. We are, however, going to go back to somewhat normal summer hours next week. So we're going to do Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We're going to be open 10 to 5. Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to be 10 to 6, and we're going to be doing 9 to 3 on Saturdays, and we're closed Sundays. Owners say they'll continue to update their specials, and the best way to find out is through their Facebook, Apothecary & Co., and you can also check out their podcast at The Funky Pharmacist. Reporting in Oxford, Alexis Ware, Oxford Community Television.